Hi. Hello. You doing a Fallout game? Yes. Really doing it? Yep, really doing Is it. Is it going to be a war game or a board game with miniatures? It's a skirmish miniatures game. So, like so no, game. no tiles, but it will actually on the table? Uh, uh, that's right, on a miniatures table. Okay, so a true war game, that's very that's interesting. Right, yes. So multi part miniatures, resin, 32 mil scale. Okay. With scenery. 15 model society type thing, yeah. Sure. Anything from 3 to 30. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, that's, nice that's very interesting. Yeah. So, are you actually going to Kickstarter with this? No, or? It's a pre order only and then with retail and okay. online pre order. I have to say, I'm actually okay. kind of pleased about that. Yeah. Yeah. Every single question online was, is this going to be a Kickstarter? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting a bit sick of them after a while. Yeah. And, yeah. Keep and the thing is, it's not that, it's just you, you, you have an aim, you go into the Kickstarter. You make loads and loads of money, you end up loads of stretch goes on, it ends up dragging out all the production, then you've yeah, got to yeah. ship it all. Yeah. It's better just to have but something and to go It's for obviously it. less of a good deal for people who pre-order. It's a big but license though. It's, um, you get it sooner. So. Is it going to be a two pound box set? Or are you Can't do... say yet. <laughs> so quite. <laughs> Is but that because be... of the fest stop? Are they doing the same thing with the games? You know, nothing goes out for demo until like two weeks before release. Yeah, well, we, have, we have to get everything approved, so that's why we're gradually releasing the information. And, uh, okay, well, thank you very much. Yeah, it's okay, it's a pleasure. It's Kung Fu Panda out yet as well, is that? Halfway through that interview, we got shamelessly interrupted. But, um, Chris did say something I was actually going to ask him, but he said it even without me asking it, is that these miniatures are going to be produced from resin. Now, I know that a lot of miniatures for Modifius are produced by Prodos. So, resin is most likely this type of resin. Now, this is actually a really good material. It, it's, it can produce very detailed miniatures. It's really durable for a resin. And it's also really cheap, because you normally get like uh, a squad of five miniatures for, was it 14 pounds now? That's not a lot at all. It actually comes in two colors, but it's pretty much the same material. Almost, uh, there's very little difference. Um, these are Warzone models, by the way. So yeah, I'm actually very hopeful for this game. And then they offered us to subscribe to Fallout Newsletter, so we get all the updates regarding this game, plus they would give us a reward if we do that. And that was a Starship Captain miniature from Star Trek. Um, there was actually a choice between uh, Kirk and uh, I got Picard here, uh, my friend. Picked Kirk. I'm a fan of Patrick Stewart, so I picked Picard. Um, I don't know if you can tell from here that it's Picard. He looks a bit more like Saitama from One Punch Man. But uh, I don't know. I suppose if you if you do a free hand uh, hair on his head, just a little bit at the temples, you know, maybe then you'll be able to tell that it's Picard. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you all next time.